Welcome to the HP Design Jet How to Use video series. In this episode, I will discuss how to make a copy of an original drawing using the HP Design Jet T3500 production EMFP. To begin, load the original drawing into the scanner with the printed side facing upwards. Align the center of the sheet approximately with the center of the scanner. You can use the standard size markings on the scanner to help you. Push the sheet into the insertion slot until you feel it contact the rollers. The scanner will automatically grab the sheet and move it into a position for scanning. You can press the release button on the front panel to eject the sheet if you feel that it has been loaded badly or you want to try again. Let me show you how that is done. To start the copy, go to the touch screen and go to the home screen and select copy. You will see the current quick sets configured for copying. These quick sets can be configured in the settings menu. So let's take a quick look at that. To set up the, the quick set, you will enter into the settings menu, select scan, copy and print quick sets, and then select the copy quick sets. To configure a new quick set, select new and then you can rename this quick set so I've just renamed that now I can select the, the content type so in this case this is lines and drawing if I want to clean up the background I can change that setting here and something very important is to always select the original paper type so here we have white paper and that is what is selected. So once you have uh, made the necessary changes, you can select save and the quick set has been created. Now I can go into the copy menu and I will see the new quick set created. So I can select that and click continue. Now I can select the number of copies that I want and select copy. And now the copy will start. When doing copying, the printer will scan the original drawing and print out a copy. If you want to do additional copies, you can insert the, the original drawings into the scanner at any time. If you have completed the, the copying process, you click on finish and it will take you back to the home page. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more in-depth information, I recommend that you refer to the user's manual which shipped with your printer on a CD, or you can download it at hp.com under the support tab.